Light is a universal constant, independent of the motion of the source, because time is being created continuously at the same rate that light moves. To understand this, we have to understand how time is being created and the part we play in its creation. Because of this, I have been working on my own theory called quantum atom theory. In quantum atom theory, the wave-particle duality of light creates time itself. Time is being created continuously by photon-electron couplings. When a quantum particle wave function of light makes contact with an electron on the surface of an atom, there is a photon-electron coupling and the wave function collapses into a moment in time. There is a quantum leap of energy creating a new particle wave function of future possibilities. In this way, two-dimensional space on the surface of that atom expands into three-dimensional space-time of the observer. Because we can choose when and where to collapse the wave function, we have free will to create our own future. The wave-particle duality of light, or electromagnetic radiation, is continuously creating a blank canvas for the observer that she or he can participate in. The individual observer is the only true reference frame because they are creating their own time relative to their position and momentum. In this oil painting of a geisha girl walking through sunlight, the particle wave duality of the light will collapse as she walks through the rays of light. She will collapse the wave function into moments of time and space, creating her own space-time. In this theory, there is no absolute or universal time, because atoms create their own time relative to their position and momentum. Light itself will always be a universal constant, travelling between the atoms, because the particle wave function of light is continuously collapsing, giving us the time continuum, or arrow of time. Light and time are linked. When there is a photon-electron coupling, there is a delay factor. This is why light travels slower through water, and time runs slower through a gravitational field. The greater the mass or energy of an object, the larger or more rapid the particle wave function collapse. This will increase the number of photon-electron couplings, increasing the delay factor, and time will slow down relative to an observer in the object's own created space-time or reference frame. Time has stopped on the surface of a black hole because the photon-electron couplings have been turned back in on themselves and light and time has ceased to exist. This theory can explain the paradoxes of quantum mechanics and gives us an understanding of the time continuum, uniting quantum mechanics with classical mechanics within the light of a new theory that is a valid description of the real world.